This bowl is going to be the smallest bowl in the set of three, like this, and it has, I intend to have a rim, you know, on it. So what I'm going to do before I start to raise it is measure about a 10 millimeter rim and make a little mark with the edge of my ruler here. And then I will take the dividers, set this in the center, and match it up to that mark and start scoring around the edge. This gives me a guideline so that I know that I will be raising it between the uh, foot and the shiny line here. Now I'm sitting down here uh, at my stake which is tightened up into a vise and I have my bowl and I have my raising hammer. The raising hammer has these narrow faces. This is a very, uh, it's a 300 gram hammer and it has like a, a slightly broader face here and then it has a narrower face. We're going to use the broad face to start raising. Now what I'm going to do is hold the bowl so that the end of the stake here comes very close to the end of, this, uh, of the foot marked inside the, the bowl. And I'm going to carefully tap it down, holding the metal up a little bit here so that I get the metal, uh, the ang angle here will go down onto the stake when I hit it with the hammer. And you can see the change that's taking place in the shape of the bowl. Uh, and like we use the stake upstairs, I'm only hitting on one space of the stake with the hammer, and the metal is moving between them. And you should check the inside to see you know, how close your hammer marks are getting. They should be fairly close together, but they don't have to be actually touching at this point. This uh, bowl will only take one round of raising before I flare out the bowl, but we'll get there in a little bit. We're getting close to my mark, you know, where I'm going to stop, but I still have another, you know, couple of revolutions to make. And I keep checking inside here to see the shiny parts of the, of the copper. Anything that's dull is unstretched or un, unhammered metal. And it could be, you know, stretched out just a little more. Okay, that looks like that's about done. And what I'm going to do now is flatten the rim just a little bit on the log. Okay, and I'll take this to a, a, another setup in order to give the rim a little bit.